All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another fun mod, this time in the form of the Mark II expansion being made by forum user Suicidal Insanity. And uh, this is a pretty glorious little parts pack that adds into the game 13 new parts to sort of flesh out the stock Mark II lineup, and I just love that. I'm not a huge fan of space planes because I'm kind of a crappy pilot, but whenever I do make them, I love using the Mark II parts because they just look so beautiful. And so whenever I see a new parts pack that adds new Mark II parts, I just gotta check it out. So let's jump right on into the space plane hangar and take a look at what this has to offer us. Now, of course, this is uh, for the Mark II system so whether you're using the inline cockpit the drone core or the mark II regular old cockpit here these parts should offer you a nice little selection of new design opportunities to make some really unique and interesting aircraft and uh, I probably should also point out right off the bat here that they that these parts do use the stock textures so any footprint should be very very minimal for this mod probably even mostly non-existent considering it's a small lineup of parts and using stock textures it shouldn't affect your game in the slightest but let's uh take a look at the first part here in the fuel tanks and i gotta say this first part is quite possibly my favorite part of the entire mod even though it's pretty simple. Now, it is a Mark II inverter fuselage, which has a uh, slight lift rating of 0.3 and a pretty decent liquid fuel and oxidizer capacity. And this is, well, a pretty simple part that changes the Mark II fuselage from sort of horizontal in nature to being vertical in nature. And I love that. It's such a simple thing, but just turning the Mark II fuselage on its side could open up just so many potential design opportunities. And it's it's such a simple idea, but is quite frankly something I haven't seen in any mod packs in the past, so it's quite cool to see it here. And uh, yes, again, quite possibly my favorite part from this mod. Now the second part that we have in the fuel tank category is this Mark II Spade Tail, which has a lot more lift surface rating at 1.6 and less liquid fuel and oxidizer than the inverter fuselage. Uh, but this one, a much simpler design. It is, well, a spade. It's you know, straight edges along the side, tapering towards the end, and uh, flat surfaces along the edges. Very nice, very cool, and with the flat edges, you know, very well designed for adding wings off of, etc. A cool little part indeed, and I do like the sort of teardrop shape we're getting here. Very nice, very nice. So let's just check these off and move down to the engines tab, where we have three new engines added in by this mod, the first of which being the G120 Vector Turbo jet engine let's just place this on here and this engine is pretty gorgeous looking I love the design of this thing you know, you've got the cool little bits and bobs on the end here the nice little sort of turbo fan interior very cool indeed and uh, provides a, a decent amount of thrust up oh, clicked out of it there we go 189.9 at Mach 1.7 a thrust of just 130 stationary and a hell of a good ISP at 13,000 200 whether you're in atmosphere or vacuum and uh, not not a whole lot of fuel usage but also not great fuel usage but where this engine really shines is the gimbling this has a yaw gimbal of zero but a pitch gimbal of 20 so this thing is made for maneuverability it's made for you to just be able to pitch that thrust and just turn on a dime very cool I like this engine a lot and uh, like I said Eh, not the greatest sort of fuel efficiency, but also not the worst. A pretty good all-rounder engine. Now, the next one we have, let's just chuck this off, is the H-07 Afterburn Ramjet engine, which let's pop this baby on. It, kind of an interesting design. I'm not a huge fan of it because it just kind of looks like a weird nozzle to me, but I must admit, I love these sort of indentation bits here on the model. Very cool looking. And the interior kind of looks like a stovetop. 
but a very cool engine nonetheless as well. Its max thrust is a 1,333 at Mach 3, stationary thrust of 230. ISP only 8,000, so it uh, not quite as efficient as the uh, G120 here. And of course, uses a lot more fuel and only a gimbling range of one, but a very, very fast engine. This thing, oh boy, it picks up and it goes. Very nice indeed. And the last engine is my favorite of the engines that it gets added in by this mod, and that is the Z0 OM. ESTOC engine, which is essentially a Mark II version of the Rapier engine. And the Rapier is one of my favorite engines in the game, because like I said, I'm an awful space plane pilot, so I like the having the ability in an engine to switch between the uh, air breathing or the closed cycle using liquid oxidizer instead of the air intake. And this Estoc engine allows me that opportunity, but in a Mark II form factor. It is quite nice. I do enjoy it quite a bit. Thrust is pretty decent as well. Atmosphere of 286, vacuum of 340, and uh, ISP of 270, atmosphere 320, vacuum. It uses a lot more fuel than, say, the vectoring engine up here, but, of course, you have the dual abilities of either air breathing or liquid fuel and oxidizer. Very cool indeed. I like it. And that's it for engines. All the rest of the parts that we have on hand are in the aerodynamic section. And let's first look at all the different nose cones that this adds in. The first of which being the Mark II Manta Ram Air Intake. And this baby, oh boy, look at that gaping maw. It is just a huge mouth air intake for the front of your aircraft. Brings in quite a bit at 1.5 air intake. Very cool. I like the look of it, especially with the inline cockpit here. And it just kind of, I don't know, kind of makes it look like a duck. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> a very cool air intake. Uh, the next one that we have is then, oh god, let's look at the other air intake. Here it is, the two-state aerospace intake. And this is very cool when used in conjunction with the STOC engine. Uh, because we can't unfortunately do it here in the VAB. But these top and bottom bits here that we have close when you add it to a action group and that allows you to well close your air intakes when they're not needed so when you switch the estoc engine from air breathing to oxidizer you can close these up and it improves the aerodynamics of the aircraft and also its lift rating and so that you you know you can fly a bit better and of course when you're coming back in to the atmosphere from space you can open them back up again bring in all the air and you are good to go a very cool very versatile air intake i like it quite a bit and it also has that large air intake amount at 1.5 very cool indeed let's just chuck that off we then have a nice nose cone here in the mark ii hypersonic nose cone and i love this thing because well it is quite literally sharp. Look at the point edge on that. It is just tapering into nothingness. It is beautiful. Has a pretty good lift rating of 0.6. It does hold liquid fuel and oxidizer a fair amount as well. And I just like kind of the elongated look of this nose cone. It is very cool indeed. And uh, one of the pre-made ships that the mod maker has uh, that I'll load up here in a little bit. It makes very good use of it. I, I quite like the design possibilities with this. It is very cool. The next sort of uh, kind of nose cone bit is this Mark II adapter air intake, which pops on the front and it changes the aircraft from Mark II down to the 1.25 fuselage size. So you can add in one of these sort of uh, regular space plane cockpits onto the front and then have these nice air intakes along the side which only bring in about one air intake but it does also hold a 90 liquid fuel so a nice little extra you know air intake you can have a different uh, different type of cockpit on here a very cool little part indeed we then have an engine shroud here, a Mark II engine shroud of course that we can pop onto the front I guess and well it's it's a shroud where you put an engine on the inside here. And it's I, I like the idea of this because, well, it, it hides a potentially ugly looking engine. So all you see is the glorious Mark II fuselage. And I just noticed how much that one really makes you look like a duck. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought that the uh, Manta made it look like a duck. That is quite literally Mark II duck face. 
Oh, I love it even more now. That is that is gorgeous. <laughs> you put that on the front with a, a circular air intake. There we go. We have a functioning duck face for your airplanes. Very cool indeed. Uh, but yes, this uh, doesn't have any liquid fuel or oxidizer, but does have 0.28 lift surface. A very good little part indeed. And then the last bit that we have for our parts comes in three sizes and varieties. Now, one thing I want to point out is with all the Mark II parts, you probably have noticed we have the straight edges along here, which pretty much everyone uses to attach wings to the side. But what if you want like an elongated straight edge to it, but you want to hide those sort of uh, occasionally ugly flat edges? Well, you can use these chines here, which do have lift rating. The short one has a lift rating of 0.25, and you can just grab that and pop it right on the side there to sort of help your Mark II taper off a bit more plus have a little bit of extra lift. It is very cool. Now that is the short size. It also comes in a long size here. And then finally we have this chine cap so you can have it taper off towards the front or back of the aircraft or anywhere in between. It is a very cool part and they have varying uh, lift ratings. The chine cap has 0.2 the long has 0.4 and the uh, short had, of course, that, what was, oh god, what was it, 0.25, 0.25, there we go. And yeah, all these different parts just add so many great design possibilities. And what's cool is the mod maker added a variety of aircraft into the game to sort of show off some of these design possibilities. Like with the hypersonic nose cone, you have this S-TOC design, which I really like. It's basically a Mark II drone. It uses the drone core, has the hypersonic nose, the chines along the side to give it a little bit more lift. And it's, it's just this beautiful, sleek looking aircraft that also does use the S-TOC engine and you could just take this thing off and it just oh boy it picks up and it goes it's quite quite fast and quite easy to fly actually surprisingly for its design you'd expect without any real wings that it'd be difficult but no it's it's actually a pretty nice flyer we also have, thanks to some of the bits and bobs from this mod, the ability to actually recreate an SR-71, which is very cool. We've got the chines along the side, the spade tail in the back here to sort of taper it down, and just a beautiful design. And this ship, I have to admit, is probably the smoothest aircraft I think I've ever flown in this game. It's very well made. I quite like it. But by far my favorite one of these designs, just because it's just so weird, is, oh no, that's my auto save from earlier when I was flying it. This one, the Speed Demon. This uses those ramjet engines and those giant Manta air intakes to create a ship that looks like it should be in a Star Wars movie and flies super fast. Oh my god. Within about 30 seconds of taking off from the runway, you can probably get this thing up to about a thousand meters per second. It's that fast. It is very, very cool indeed. But quite possibly my favorite of all of these, because I love that inverter, is this dactyl airplane, which uh, uses the inverter to have it end on a pretty standard Mark II, but at the front, tapers it upwards and makes it so you have a cockpit on top and an air intake on the bottom. It is just such a beautiful little plane. And with that inverter fuselage, a design like this is possible. So just think of all the other crazy, weird and wacky designs you can make with some of these parts. It is just beautiful. And of course it is using this uh, vector turbojet engine here. So let's uh, fire this up, get it into the air to sort of sum up my thoughts and feelings about this mod overall i love this mod it's great all these gorgeous new parts especially this inverter fuselage just give you so many new possibilities for what you could make with the mark ii ship system and it's just it's gorgeous i always love parts mods mark ii part mods especially just for the design possibilities and this is a good one. I really like it. It is quite nice. And if you would like to check it out for yourself, you can, of course, go and take a look at the link in the description of the video, as always. 
And yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this episode today and that you do go and check out this parts mod and uh, any weird, wacky, or crazy ships that you make with these, I would love to see. Just tweet me a picture and I would be quite happy. As I, I, I would love to see what some of you potentially far more creative people than me could think of with these gorgeous new parts, especially this inverter. I'm intrigued to see what else you guys could make with it. And uh, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this episode today and of course that you come back for the next when we'll be looking at what is hopefully another fun mod but until then thank you for watching my friends and as always have a good one now i'm gonna fly this thing around for a bit because i just it's fun it's quite a nice little plane to fly so later folks <laughs>